Hi. So as you may know, if you are familiar with my channel, I am currently quarantining back in California in the house that I grew up in. Um, this is the house that I spent like middle school and high school in. And I am back for much longer than I anticipated. My apartment and all my things are in New York. I thought I was only coming back for like two weeks. We're already far beyond that. And I feel like I'm potentially I'm gonna be here for three to four months with just how the world's panning out. And while it's unfortunate, you know, there's lots to be grateful for. My sister took over the room that I had in high school when I left. And so now I'm in the guest bedroom that has been a bit neglected over the years. No shade to my mom. My mom's a great interior designer. The rest of the house looks great. I think this room just kind of hasn't got a whole lot of attention in a little while and it could use a refresh. Since I'm gonna be here longer than anticipated, I figured why not kind of like challenge myself to do a room makeover. So my goal is to do a 48 hour room transformation while uh, trying not to spend a lot of coin. So in advance, I tried to plan out some of my goals and I came up with like a little mood board of sorts because I think that's always helpful before going into a project. I think the big goals for this room are to make it feel more me, a little cuter. I want to make a little workspace for myself. I'm hoping to like bring a table in here. I want to make it cozy since I'm spending a lot of time in it. I know I have like old decorations and stuff in the garage from when I was in college that I just kind of like stored there. So I'm gonna do a lot of scavenging and looking around this house and seeing what I can use without having to spend too much money as well as investing in a few other things. So that's kind of the plan and the goal is to hopefully do this in 48 hours, make it quick, make it cheap, make it cute. Welcome. So as you can see, the room, it's a bit bland. Minimalistic is always nice, but I'm, I'm going for a cozier feel right now. So um, starting off with the bed situation, not a fan of the uh, comforter, if I'm being honest. It kind of makes me think of, you know, a color pattern that I wore a lot in middle school. This art is priceless, truly, but I think it's gotta go. Over here, we got a great dresser, but I think some of these top decorations you know, they could be improved. Here's little me. One time I actually won an award. Business administration, suit of the year. This lamp could be cool, but I just do not think it's gonna really work with this room. Welcome to my little spreadsheet here. I went through and basically kind of assessed what are the things I'm looking for for this room. And I came up with a little mood board. Again, I'm gonna kind of just go off what I have on hand. So this is kind of my like, loose inspiration. First successful find, um, my mom had this nice fluffy light comforter, so I'm gonna swap that out for the other kind of ugly one. And I think this will have a nice, clean look. I always wanted to be by your side. You didn't that I'd be so I think now it's time to do some scavenging and see what I can find in this house. Sorry, Mom, if I steal your plants. This is where a lot of the stuff that I had from college got stored because I lived in San Diego before I moved to New York and I sold a lot of my stuff, but I kept some items and a lot of them ended up in this area of my parents' house. They still have my framed art. Ooh, this is gonna look good. And if you don't have art just in your garage, you could find really cheap frames on OfferUp right now or potentially if you have other framed pictures in your house that you just wanna refresh or you don't really like. In the past, what I've done is I've either taken photos for magazines, like a full spread image of like the ocean or just a really cool artsy photo and I've framed that. Or I've even printed stuff off the internet and once it's framed, it automatically just looks nicer so it doesn't look as cheesy as just like pasting something on the wall. So, so far, I'd say we're pretty successful. Okay, we've got some organized chaos back here. Looks pretty cool. I like the stem of it. Okay, honestly, not a bad bounty to start off with. I'm gonna take this upstairs and start putting some stuff down. 
All right, now that we have a few pieces kind of settled in here, kind of gives me a little bit more of an idea of what to do with the space. So for the dresser, I'm thinking right here would be really cool to put a big pretty mirror and then maybe a really pretty vase with like a monstera leaf coming out of it. So now over here, I'm thinking a desk would fit really great in this corner, potentially like a big photo right here and then maybe kind of stack a few others over here like a collage and get some nice pillows. All right, so I'm going on offer up and I'm gonna see if I can find any mirrors. It's a little bit expensive. I honestly don't really want to spend over like 30 or 40 dollars. Ooh, okay, this one's really cute. I feel like if I'm thinking it white, that could look so cute. I think I'm gonna message him and see if I can haggle down a little bit. We made it back, one piece, followed all the safety precautions. I'm gonna do a quick little haul because you'll see this stuff later, but I spent around, I think 120 today and I'm pretty sure it's gonna cap it out on how much I'm spending. I might get one or two more things, but I don't really wanna spend any more than that. So I got, of course, plants. If you see my room in New York, I love plants. I'm addicted to plants. Pothos plants and snake plants are great plants to get if you have a tendency to not be able to keep plants alive. But plants are like number one affordable way to spice up your room. And then some really cute itty bitty little succulents that I wanna put on the window seal. Got some cheap candles that were on sale. Some supplies to hang things without ruining the walls because this ain't my house. A picture frame because I ordered some artwork from my friend Easton. A new little bedside table lamp. I've got my big old mirror right here. I haggled it down from 45 to only 35 and it's Thomasville. Okay, so over here's my brother's old room and I realized he has this desk here. Would work really well for the space in the room. So I think I'm gonna snag this desk and I'm gonna attempt to paint it. Hopefully it turns out good. So I feel like that'd be a lot cuter and it's a perfect size for that little nook and I could use a place to work. So let's try painting this thing. greetings from a little bit later i took like an hour or two because i had a little call but now i'm back if you can tell i kind of went for a little bit of like a little streaky approach so now i'm gonna do the top to lose quite a bit of light and it's getting a little cold out here and I pretty much wrapped up the first coat and I ended up moving the um, mirror into the garage and I'll probably paint it in there um, and then I'll call it a day. Day one successful and then hoping to wrap things up tomorrow so stay tuned. Okay, so the table's looking good. Okay, figured I'd repot these little plants. And we're definitely getting close to the fun part, the decorating, so stay tuned. Dad is being ever so kind as to help me hang my artwork. He's finding the stud, even though he's the real stud. <laughs> Just a joke he likes to make every time. It always points to me. I'm still kind of trying to figure out the formation of the collage, but I think because this piece is so big and it's such a statement piece, it's gonna go right above the bed. And then I'm gonna cluster my three slightly smaller ones. My friend Easton painted it. It is so beautiful. If you're looking for a way to spice up your home for yourself, highly recommend check out, support a small artist. Thank you. Welcome. Adding a little bit of greenery always 
makes your room look 10 times better. And what's great is that I purposefully tried to center this above the bed, but then it kind of looked like it had an awkward amount of space between the windows. So this plant hanging right here kind of helps balance it a little bit more. It kind of separates the two space into like the window space and the bed space. Plus, I freaking love plants, so it's a win-win. First item of decor going on the dresser that I'm very excited about. I found this little vase in the house and I picked these flowers, stems, <laughs> don't know what they're called, on my drive home yesterday. I think we'll dry well, fingers are crossed, but I think it was a cute look. really pretty dry bouquet from my brother's wedding when I was a bridesmaid so I was thinking it could look really good if I hung it up here just like a little extra something something I'm actually kind of into the look of having it under the desk it's kind of cute we are getting to the finish line, the end. I am very excited with how it looks so far, especially considering with how we started and the fact that I am not spending like $2,000 at like West Elm or Urban Outfitters. I'm trying to keep it cheap, I'm trying to keep it easy and quick. It's getting dark, so I'm gonna do the like overall reveal room tour tomorrow morning when there's a little bit of light, but I technically finished in 48 hours, so. Proud of myself, I'm definitely sweaty and I have paint all over me, but it's been worth it. I'm done 40 hours and I'm so stoked with how this turned out. This makes me feel a lot less crappy about being quarantined away from my own personal home. So let me give you a little tour. So welcome to, you know, the bed, the best spot. I'm really excited with how this little collage turned out. Very grateful I had all these pieces left behind and very excited to have a piece by a friend. It makes it extra special. I wanted to make sure the room wasn't too cluttered. That's why there's a lot of white furniture throughout. And then I thought the artwork adds a fun pop of color, a little bit more like design to the room. Plants are the key to my heart <laughs> and I would gladly add more to the room but this hanging plant I think fits really nicely there. Here's my new white desk. We've got some natural sunlight coming in right now so it's a little overexposed but I'm really happy with how this grain turned out here. Got a cute little snake plant to keep me company when I work. I snatched this chair because it was an extra in the house. I've got all my books down here, which I'm excited about to make my way through. Some more little succulents on this window seal, as well as some cozier lighting with the candles. This is the messier corner, but I have my electric guitar and my amp, and then I just stuck the fan there. Last little corner of the room. I'm probably most excited, honestly, about the transformation here. We did a full 180, as Dua Lipa would say. So on my drive home from picking up the mirror and a few items, I saw these on the side of the road and I thought they would look perfect in a little vase. We got some new candles, snagged this little guy from my mom, thanks mom, another snake pant, and then this is the lamp that I found. And then the mirror is my new pride and joy. Anthropology has some similar shaped mirrors in the high hundreds of dollars. So to get this for 35 and give it a little revamp, I think is quite a steal. All right, we did it. I hope you enjoyed that 48 hour room makeover. I figured before I close off this video, I'd share a few tips that I've learned in my day about sprucing up your room without having to spend a lot of money. First and foremost is rearranging your furniture. That can have a massive effect on your room, trust me. It can make the space feel really new and interesting and just different. Another one is a fresh coat of paint. Consider painting your walls. Maybe you want just like a really clean slate and you want to change it out from a color to just a nice white neutral to have your space feel very minimalistic and fresh. Or on the flip side, if you want to spice it up, add a pop of color. Another way to do that is to have like a statement 
wallpaper wall, which I consider doing. Maybe putting a really cool funky pattern on a wall. Another thing that I consider doing is changing the knobs on the dresser. And there's a lot of really fun knobs out there. It sounds really lame. Another one is mixing up the old bedspread. Going for a more minimal sleek look really makes the room feel more clean and simplified. Mirrors are great because they often make the room feel bigger. So if you can find an affordable mirror, it often adds more light and you can dance in front of it to some fun music. So next is adding some flora to your space or like I did with the plant in the vase is pick some flowers on the side of the road. So those are some tips if you want to make over your room on a budget, keep it quick, keep it easy. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, thanks so much for watching. Props to making it to the end. Be sure to subscribe. I have some other room tour videos of my spot in New York and other places I've lived in the past. So check that out. And as usual, hope you're doing good. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.